going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So we're still up here in the Bay Area. It's the last day of the trip and we're up here at Contra Costa Country Club. Approach hit him with it. Uh, it's a great golf course in, in immaculate shape. They're getting it ready for some member guest tournament coming up. It's about 6,500 yards. Robert Trent Jones special, which you know we love. Uh, so we're really excited to be out here. Also the pro is going to be playing with us. He said he shot a little 66 last week. He's going to take me on and he's going to finish me in 14 holes. So we'll see how he does out here <laughs> under the lights and uh, hopefully he can perform. Yeah, they're going to go mano a mano and uh, let's make some intros for right now. So first and... Foremost, we got Javi out here with us. What's going on, brother? How's it going? Pleasure having you here. Just amazing getting to meet these two amazing human beings and amazing golfers as well. So it's gonna be it's gonna be an amazing amazing game. But I think Marco and I will be big spectator into today's battle. Which we are very excited about. Yeah. So let's see let's see how this goes. Awesome. What's going on? What's going on? First of all, we want to thank you guys so much for being here. Absolutely. Um, you guys do an amazing thing. For all the golf courses, it's fun to watch your videos. One of you is lefty. I didn't know that. That's even crazier. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. It's not you, is it? Uh. Okay. Marco's lefty, so we're good. <laughs> Mike and I have been talking all morning, making sure that we're ready. Got our game faces on here. Marco's always got his game base on. That's why he's got the camera in his hand. That's right. Well, it's starting to rain a little bit. Should yeah. we get it on? Yeah, let's, let's do this. All right. Thank you guys again for being here. Really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, appreciate it. Have some fun. Yeah, there we go. To you. Yeah, thank Pro. you, sir. I appreciate it. Pro Slayer, I yeah. understand. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Well, Pro the Pro right here is shooting 66 on everybody. We'll see how he does under the lights. <laughs> You know, I gotta tell you, I did get this trinket from my mother-in-law. She told me that this is gonna drop at least five or six strokes off my score. <laughs> I just donned it on my bag today. Ooh. I'm feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. <laughs> I mean, just look at his head covers over here. He's got the shoe. Gotta take care of that. That's awesome. Little masters. Beautiful. And he's, he's got the he's got the big boy bag, so let's see how the game is. All right, guys, hole number one here at Contra Costa, 412 yards. Uh, as you guys can see, it's going downhill. Those fairways just look absolutely pristine. Dog leg left, and uh, we'll see what's waiting for us up there. But looks like a fun, challenging hole here already. You got to carry the little road down there, so should be a fun one. So what's the giveaway gonna be if you lose? A Just putter for the fans, for sure. A putter, yeah. No doubt. Okay. I would love that. Okay. okay. All right, we're gonna give away an Odyssey putter. Hit a good drive here on the first hole. Got 150 yards left. This hole is already awesome. You got like a, a big hill that it goes down if you drive it too far. A massive tree, it looks like it's right in the middle. Just a well-designed hole. I'm gonna club up, hit an eight iron, and uh, stick it up right at the fly stick. Oh, big Cat hit this a little bit left of the stick. But it looks good. Oh, it landed on the fringe. Oh, it took a terrible kick and it's in the bunker. All right, hit one down the middle. I got 143 left. I'm just gonna hit a little nine iron, middle of the green, play it safe, and uh, put a little pressure on the pro. Good start of that middle of the green, drawn over. It's looking pretty good. Look pretty tasty. Just on the top of the ridge, stayed up there. We got the pro over here breathing down shot, his neck right, right. No, no, <laughs> okay. just appreciating good shots. <laughs> so Morgan just stayed uh, in the fairway over here. Clearly he knows what he's doing. Good angle. About 120 it looks like. Gotta stay below the hole, it'll be beneficial. Caught it a little heavy. Did it? Oh, okay, there it came out. Right there, underneath the tree. The pro just chunked one into the tree, and it looks like the pressure got to him a little bit. Uh, I hit a decent one, I probably got about 35 feet. I'm on the top ridge. Uh, just need to two-putt that one and uh, go one, maybe two up on him on the first hole. 
Looks like Morgan just came up right there. He's probably got about 15 feet below the pin. Okay, and I am on the top ridge. I'm uh, got about 35, 40 feet. Okay, yeah, really good shot right there. Look how fast those greens are. And Marco went in the right side bunker. Oh, great shot, really well done. A little bit of blood on the first hole there, Pro. You can't have a war without blood. <laughs> <laughs> good. Oh, that was pretty good. Kind of cool things on the course. We have, obviously, on the first hole, a tree to hit over. We have a tree on the second hole to hit over. And we have a series of these really neat foot bridges um, throughout the course. So it kind of, it's a really walking course, which is great. Most of our members do walk. We are at 60% walkers and 40% riders, which is a huge amount of walkers for the Bay Area. So talks about the course and the walkability. So. Awesome. Let's keep riding in the car. Alright guys, second hole out here, part three, playing about 185 yards or so. As you can see, Morgan just mentioned that tree that's in the middle and uh, definitely comes into play. You can't hit one uh, low here and expect to get it up there. So you can see the pin is on the left hand side, pretty tough pin position. So something uh, in the middle with a little fade or a draw should, uh, should get it done here. Coach hit a nice one there, started middle of the green with a nice draw, headed uh, right at the oh, flag stick. Go in the hole. Go in. Yeah, it should be really good. Good shot. Well done. You missed it. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Fantastic. Good sportsmanship right there. Yeah. Oh, he jumped on this a little bit, going a little left, kind of towards that bunker. Yep, he's in it. Perfect. Okay, he says perfect from there. Oh, big head started this middle of the green, fading over towards the pin. This could go in also. Good shot. Feeding towards the pin. What a golf shot right there, not bad. At the moment, we got close to the hole. Mike. All right, Javi's cutting this in there. Looking good. Okay, just came up a little shy. All right, so Javi just ended up a little bit short. He's coming up right now. Had a nice little wedge right here. All right, so he's right next to me. It's gonna give me a little bit of read. You guys can see I was a little bit short. Uh, pins right there, probably about a 30 footer. And then coach was back there to the right and hit a really nice shot in there. Probably about a 15 or 17 footer. And then Morgan went in the bunker. Looks like he's uh, got a good lie in the bunker back there by the rake. But the only thing is he's gonna have to land this. These greens are pretty quick. He's gonna have to land this pretty much at the on the fringe or just on and let it roll out to this pin. So touchy little shot. Look at that backdrop right there. We're already loving this course. Uh, just beautiful out here, striped fairways. And uh, some nice big trees out here, which is always fun, you know, having to carve it around them. Now, most amateurs thinking short-siding yourself is a good, is a bad idea. You know, we like the challenge. <laughs> <laughs> this pro's got a lot of confidence right now. I like it. Oh, he just barely got it out. He's on the fringe. He's going to have a tough little downhiller coming down. Nice birdie. Good deuce. That's how you get it done out here. <laughs> this guy's full of tricks. I love it. Boom. Great pod, dude. All right. Nice. Well done. All right, we are on hole number three. It's a par five. It's 487 yards, so it's fairly short, but it is all uphill and a little bit into the wind, and it looks like that bunker does come into play. Uh, Robert Chen Jones Jr. Uh, <laughs> built a good one right here, and uh, it's pretty wide open other than that bunker, and uh, just gonna try and make a birdie here. Wow, 
Mike, what do you... Alright guys, hit in the bunker over here. I'm just gonna hit a little 56. I see a big drop off in the fairway and I don't know what's down there. I think it's more fairway, but it'd be just an awkward spot to come up from. So I'm gonna David Tom's with that boy and see if we can get up and down. And he did. It's perfect. Okay, good shot. All right, push that drive, hit it off the toe to the right. I got a little bit of an opening. There's some trees in front, but I'm just gonna lay up a little left over the trees, give myself probably 30, 40, 50 yards coming in. Oh, you pure that, playing a little cut up the middle, fading to the right. I think he's gonna be in a good spot there. A little too much. <laughs> Hit a pretty weird uh, bunker shot back there, just kind of went a little left. Still got 187 left here, uh, which is the same, about the same yard as I had in the last hole. I birdied that, so I'm just gonna hit a five iron, take it right at it. Big Cat hit it at the pin, fading over. It's going a little left. Short. I think, yeah, a little. So here's the ravine that I was talking about. Um, you get in there, I mean, Javi is like 6'4", and this thing is probably about 15 feet tall from bottom to the top of the fairway right there. So he, look at him, he's on his tiptoes. He can't even see the, the pin, and he's trying to figure out where to go. So that's it's kind of a tough, really cool design of this golf course. If you guys know, uh, Pasa Tiempo also has a hole like this. I think it's number 14 out of Pasa, and I uh, always appreciate unique designs like this. Make you think a little, little bit more out there. Oh yeah. Be so good. Great shot. All right, so it looks like Javi ended up on the back part of the green. Morgan hit a nice one from back there. I think he's just up there in the rough. And then I ended up right here in the bunker. It's not quite plugged. Actually got a decent line there, uphill line. Coach is back there in the fairway. Morgan's talking a little smack to him. He's been a pleasure to play with so far. Coach looks like he went a little bit deep with this one using the backstop. Didn't really suck back, so he'll have a birdie putt, but Outside chance. All right, you guys can tell the big cat is probably about eight feet below us in that bunker. He's got a tough shot. He's got to get it up pre pretty quick and it's got to carry about 20 yards. The greens are firm and they do roll out. Oh, carried a little bit long, but <laughs> wow. That was a great golf shot right there. Probably got about 10 feet coming back. Oh, really good. Really well judged. It's got a little three footer, two footer for Bird. Nice, good birdie. Thank you. Well done. Uh oh, nice work. Ooh. Showing us how to how to get it done out here. I broke the seal. What I'll do? <laughs> Let's get some birdies. There we go. What's up, guys? <laughs> Guys, this, this is Javi, dude. He's He hit us up, sent a message to us. We became friends through the channel. He's been watching our vids, and uh, we just ate dinner at his awesome restaurant. How do you pronounce it? I don't want to butcher the name. It's very easy. You just say, you just say Chavi. You know, you imagine Chavi, Chavi right? So you just say Chavi. <laughs> Chavi. That's my name from Barcelona. From Barcelona. So he's got a couple of restaurants in Barcelona and uh, here in the you know Bay Area. We just ate at one at Walnut Creek and it was absolutely phenomenal. So if yeah. you guys are in the area, check it out. Or in Barcelona. Or in Barcelona, <laughs> even better. <laughs> Slight dog leg left. This is one of the most fun green complexes on the course. Uh, the front hole location is totally dastardly. It's just really, really tight. You gotta hit a good shot. Wide open fairway so your line is those stairs in the distance. Swing away. Just another beautiful hole. Um, got 137, low up the hill, pins tucked hard to the left, so 
Uh, looks like everything slopes right to left. I'm going to try and throw it on that hill and let it feed towards the pin. Started up the right, wind starting to push it back to the left, still kind of right side of the green, but I think it might feed over to the left. Nah, it's kind of hanging over there, but still safe shot. It's gonna have a run at birdie. All right, Marco had a pretty good drive, but it looked like it just kicked a little bit left. He's kind of right in between the cart path and the tree. So he's got a, roughly the same distance. Yeah, I got 129 left. I just saw a coach hit an eight. Looks like, looked like it was good distance control, so I'm gonna just hit the same club. Uh, just kind of go right middle of the green with a little fader rate. Oh yeah, looks good. It's fading a little too much. Wind's kind of got it. Oh, it landed high enough. I think it's on the green uh, left part. Good shot. What do you got left? So we figured it's 100 and, what do you say, 136 meters? <laughs> so I have no idea. <laughs> We're just gonna hit a shot. <laughs> About 130, we figured probably right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's where we had it at five. Oh, he pured it. Up the right side, drawn over. Looks good. Ooh, came up a little sh Oh yeah, it's feeding off the hill. He knows what he's doing over there. It's coming <laughs> back, pro yeah. Pro gives a little tip of the cap. Chavi's got about 142 meters, so I have no clue how far that is in yards. <laughs> oh, that was so close! That was so good. All right. Look at where this flag stick is at. I can't really show you guys how much undulation there is here because it looks somewhat flat when I look at it through the lens, but Coach's ball is coming down about four feet from where he's at. So that is going to be almost impossible to stop. Javi coming up. Go, 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 go. Just a little bit short. And I made the cardinal mistake of going long on this hole. Hit way too much club. Back of the green, pretty much going to be an impossible putt to get anywhere near the hole. I'm gonna have to throw it up there, kind of where Coach's is, and try to bring it down, but a three putt <laughs> would honestly be good here. So Marco's aimed pretty much 90 degrees to the uh, pin hill, and uh, with not a lot of speed. Oh, that's, that can be. Oh, that could be really good. Travel. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be wonderful. Yeah. Get down that hill, come on. Come on, it it's, coming. There, it's coming, it's coming. Wow. Wow, shot up the day. Yeah, that's sit, an A+. Plus. Sit, 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 sit. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. Wow. Oh, thanks for the read, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I did not see that line. <laughs> Did it. Oh, great really putt. Good yeah, cars, really good two putt. Really good. That was impressive. Nice. Oh, yeah. Well done. Well done. Good, of the good game. job. Want to try it again with your line? Yeah. I got your ball set up. You gotta grab the base. All right, guys, uh, just uh, having a great time out here at Contra Costa Country Club. This is a must play, definitely a Golf Holics approved uh, list of golf courses to check out when you're up here. Uh, this is a short par three, 128 yards, a little bit downhill, and everything feeds left to right. And uh, some bunkers along the right hand side. Looks like it's gonna be tough to attack this pin, so anything about 30, 40 feet should be good. Oh, the pro knows how to play this. Looks pretty good. It's got to sit a little. Okay, he's on that back part, but he's putting uphill. Good move. You can almost oh. call him a renaissance athlete. Really smooth swing right there, fading over. He's on the front part. Gonna roll out, really good shot. Ooh, Marco attacked this pin. It's a little bit left of it. It should feed towards the hole. If Watch it's, this. Yeah, should get a good bounce. There she is. All right, he knows what he's doing. Zen Master Mike going Oh, right. let's go. This is just a little bit left of it, but it looks really good. Oh, so good. Yeah, nice he's right shot. down there next to me. Well done, dude. So this is the hole that we just played, and you guys can kind of get a feel for the undulation on the screen. You have a backstop back there, and just a front that's gonna be feeding all over the place. You guys can see the undulation really well from up here. All right, guys, you guys, you can see Coach and I are right there next to each other. Javi's just a little bit further over there to the right. And then uh, Morgan was uh, probably pin high just over there, so pins there. No one's really got it super close here. 
but uh, see if we can roll one in from distance. Good putt. Man, you but. hit that hard. Nice, good putt. So these T signs here were part of the original course and when we were renovated in 2013 and 14, uh, you know, Robert Trent Jones Jr., one of his beliefs which we love and embrace is the minimalist design. So we have almost no signs on the course. You know, we have a few signs where to exit the fairway, uh, things to be cautious of native areas, but for the most part, there's no signing. So I had to fight tooth and nail to get signs on the cart path for the whole number so that our guests could enjoy the course when they're out here. Um, but it, it does, it lends a nice view. It's, it's simple, it's just a nice walk or ride, you know, <laughs> without a lot of suppressor on it, so. All right guys, par five here, 534 yards. Pretty hard dog leg to the left. As you can see, we've got a bunker out there and then it looks like it's just going straight left from here. So we'll see what's waiting for us up there, but looks like another fun, beautifully designed hole. Start it right at uh, the left side of the bunker, or even in the middle if you're gonna draw it a little bit more. And there's 40 yards left that you don't actually see, so lots of room left. Okay. And the bunker is at least 250 to get to, so you know, good poke still might just stay a little short. Got it. Good one, Javi. Really stay in that one, Javi, really. Simmer down now. Catch it. All right, we got Javi dead center of the fairway. How about those stripes right there? Looks so good. Okay. Great ball. Yeah, great ball up the left side. All right, just gonna hit a five iron from here, get back into position, and uh, go from there. I think that's gonna be good. All right, I got 280, a little downhill uh, into the wind. I don't think I got enough firepower to uh, reach the green, but uh, I'm gonna try and leave it up the right side, get up and down, and uh, put a little pressure on that pro. <laughs> Hit one a little bit thinny, headed for the cart path on the right. And I think it's gonna be fine. Ooh, it's real good. You yeah. Know, the only way to beat a pro is to play smart, and that's smart golf. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good right now. We got a little 2:30 shot here. Uh, a little downhill, a little into the wind though, so we're gonna throw a hybrid out there towards uh, that right side of the green. Kind of like that. That's what we're talking about. All right guys, laid up with that five iron uh, back here on the left side. I got a pretty steep side hill lie. So as you guys know on these lies, it's gonna wanna go whatever way it's sloping. So for me, this is gonna wanna draw over. I'm gonna hit a little chippy pitching wedge, go right at it. Ooh, Big Cat hit this really well. Looking good, just a little bit left of the pin. Oh, right at it. And uh, I think you. it's just below the pin. Great shot. 143 yards. I might need a nine iron and see what happens. I like it, it's a good lie. Sets up perfectly for this little butter cut he's gonna hit here. Here we go. All right, wind kinda knocked that one down just a little bit, but good shot. All right, I got 68 yards, a little awkward. Uh, it's into the wind, I'm gonna try and play it up the right side, let it run out, and uh, you know, anywhere close to the, the flag stick will take. A little bit under that, but looks like it's going to be up left. to the right. Come on down. Pro Come said down. it should kick left. Roll out. Yeah, there it is. It's sure enough. It's rolling out. It's still going. Yeah, great shot, coach. Thanks. All right, Javi is just right in front. He's got a touchy little chip. Everything feeds hard right to left. You guys can see that. A couple different ridges. Okay, 
right below the pin. So it looks like the pro got here in two. This is him right here. He's got a tough little putt though. And uh, I got a birdie putt right there. I think Marco does too and same with Javi. You can't stop perfection, baby. Come on. It was, it was good. I just wanted him to butt it. Good stuff. Match is all square. Yeah, good putt. Boy's tough. He's a good player. Don't forget your club. You know, I'll give him a little tip of the cap. Yeah, he, uh, he can hit the ball. He's deep. Uh, he plays a nice draw, which I really do enjoy watching. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he's a, he's a cool pro. I think more pros need to be like him. Really relaxed, young atmosphere, good player, has some competition, talks a little smack to you, and uh, just overall a good time. Hey, you're no slap yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and guys, this is one of the most picturesque holes out here on the course. Look at this. Looking back up the fairway, beautiful, perfect stripes. Man, what else do you want out here? This place is absolutely amazing. All right, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed Contra Costa part one. Big thanks to uh, Morgan and Javi for having us out here. Uh, this course is absolutely pure. I mentioned to Marco earlier that this reminds me of Pasta Tiempo, Alistair McKenzie. Oh, oh, I shouldn't have said that. Huge. But I do love Alistair McKenzie and Pasta Tiempo, and this reminds me with the undulations and the, yeah. the rolling fairways and the greens, and it's just, it's a really great golf course. Never get tired of playing out here. If you guys are enjoying this, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, hit a like, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, pick up some merch in the store, and uh, yeah, just having a great time. Well, we're glad to have you out here, obviously, right? This is what it's all about, coming out, meeting some people, playing some great golf on great golf courses, and um, big shout out to you guys for coming out. Let's get it on, let's keep and having we're fun. all tied up in the match. Great birdie by him on the last hole. So we'll, uh, we'll see how part two takes out. As long as I don't uh, have any side hill, downhill chunk shots, <laughs> I'm feeling good. And on that first hole, I think the camera's got him a little bit, but he's making a strong comeback. He's feeling it and uh, should be a good part two. So stay good. tuned. Yeah. Come on back for uh, part two.